Morning, Hilda. How's the delightful Hilda today? Bored. How's Wally? Oh, I'll tell you after the first beer. I like that, is it? Yeah. I got waylaid by a party of licensed victuals last night. Josephy went mad. He was buying. Ugh. Here. Have one yourself. Fruit juice, then. Tar. Cheers. Cheers. Oh. Did uh, Scotty sharp here? She's down the coach station getting tickets. Oh. Was uh, Dave with her? I haven't seen him, love. They won't let him on a coach with all that gear. He can't put a drum kit on the luggage rack and pretend it's a packet of sandwiches. How's trade? You're the first today. Cheers. Yeah. All packed up. Yeah. I'm free as the wind just as soon as I pay off the kids. Scotty's no kid. Yeah, she's not anybody's grandma either. It wasn't much of a season. Well, the weekends weren't so bad. Not much visiting trade, though. All these seaside places are going down. It's the cars. What, love? Everybody's got one nowadays. They drive down to the promenade, sit there all day with the windows rolled up, don't spend a shilling. The town don't benefit. Yeah, it could be right. Not like the old days. On bank holidays, you couldn't breathe on account of the trippers. I liked it better then. <clears throat> you want another? Give us a scotch, Hilda. Bit early for a session, isn't it? Air of the dog. <laughs> Josephy asked me to stay on. Go on, did he? Mm. He wants me to do a floor show at the club of his in town. Will you take it? Nah. Why not? It's work, isn't it? Well, the money wasn't right. Well, the others might be interested. No, they weren't included, only me. Oh, thanks. Send the water jug over, will you? Ta. You must be potty turning up work like that. I've been here since April. Seven months. The winter can't come round soon enough for me this year. Oh, we do have the glooms, don't we? This is my third season, love. The third summer of digs and two shows a day, playing for the punters with a silly grin all over my face. Now, I'm due for the change. Scotty told me you were all coming back next year. Well, she might. I wouldn't recommend it, though. She was very popular, let me tell you. And she strained her voice singing stuff that didn't suit her. Well, the customers lapped it up anyway. Well, so what do they know? Oh, I don't think I like you this morning. I'm right about this, love. Scotty's got a nice tone. Her phrasing's beautiful. But she can't go on forever belting it out in the top register. I wouldn't know about that, Wally. It seems to me you have to get in and make your money fast these yeah. days. And then you spend about 60 years in retirement. Is that clock right? Oh, five minutes fast. Well, how long does it take to buy two coach tickets? You've kept her waiting long enough. Yeah, so I did. Yeah. What's this empty glass doing here? Another? No, I'll have a beer, thanks. I never knew anybody could put him away like you do. Well, I'm nervous, aren't I? Of what? Prohibition. Here, join me? Not me, Wally. It's the last chance. You'll be back. I'll bet you five of these I won't. Well, give us the money and I'll have one in your honour a bit later. Fair enough. Good health. Mm -hmm. Same to you. Are Dave and Scotty still, um, you know? I expect so. He's not a bit interested in her, really. No, yeah, I don't read minds. He wouldn't have to. I've seen him in here all summer, one girl after another. They want to know how he keeps his hair that way. <laughs> It's not his hair they're interested in. Ah, Dave is a popular artiste. Well, he's not much of a drummer, that's for sure. Who says so? My Eddie? Well, he was a marine bandsman for 15 years. He ought to know something about it. <laughs> Let's say he's not in the first half dozen. And the rest. You're not a big mate of Dave's, then? Not after he made that scene over that girl's drink. Poor Eileen. She's only the relief. She doesn't know what goes with what drinks. All that fuss over an olive. <laughs> no, he was out to make trouble, showing off. The bit of stuff was underage, too. Well, why didn't you throw her out, then? I wasn't here, was I? Believe me, if I'd have had my way, her feet wouldn't have touched the floor. Nor Dave's, neither. Yeah, it must be stimulating life behind one of these things. Oh, I've seen it all, love. Well, where to now? London. 
That's your home, is it? Yeah, my home is where I happen to be at the time. No, the brother-in-law's going to put me up for a few weeks. Here, got any cigarettes? In the machine. You never remember, do you? Go easy on me, I'm getting old. Want some change? No, I've got some. Oh, he's been asking after you. Wally? Yeah, I know. Hello, Wally. Good morning, Miss Scott. Will you uh, take something? No, not for me. I like the coat, dear. Is it natural fur? <laughs> no, imitation. Looks like the real thing. <laughs> yeah, I'll have another scotch when we've finished with the fashion notes. I'll cut him. Men will never understand, will they? Oh, this one won't. How many of those have you had? I've got a toothache. Oh. You know, I, I want to talk to you, Scotty. Talk? I'm not stopping you. Uh, no, in the corner. Dave should be here any minute. He won't take long. Here we are, Wally. Ah. Here. Hold on to that. I'll be back for more. Excuse me, love. <clears throat> oh. Get your wages, all right? Yep. Coach goes at five to twelve. Well, you're not short on time, then. Yeah, there's a bonus in there from Josephi. Oh, thanks. <laughs> what came over him? I did. We had a talk. Mm. Aren't you going to count it? Why? You wouldn't hold any back. Well, you shouldn't be so trusting, even of me. Oh, I don't get hung up on that property jazz, Wally. Pardon? Oh, forget it. You're turning into an alcoholic. Ever seen me drunk, Scotty? That's it. You don't get drunk. You just keep pouring it into those hollow legs. In a few years, you're going to have a problem. Well, one or two now. Where are the tickets for? Manchester. What's there? Dave's old road group. You'll sing with them? If they ask me. Well, I hope they don't. I can take care of it. Seeing's believing. Hearing. You can't see a song. Scotty, have you thought about the future? Oh, there's no such thing. Oh, yes, there is. And it's long and uncomfortable if you don't plan for it. We might all be incinerated in the next ten minutes. Well, that'd be a pity you'd miss that coach. Now, why do you use that jive talk? I bet you've been saving this up. Well, I might have. You shouldn't lecture others, Wally. It's not as if you've done so bloody marvellously yourself. You don't do as I do, do as I say. Hmm. When did you last have a woman? The last time. Let's talk about your voice for a bit. What's wrong with my voice? Now, in the natural state, nothing at all. Now look, you have the best sense of vocal pitch of any girl singer I ever heard. Outside two or three. <laughs> You're making it up, aren't you? You have the range and what the jazz men call a tack. You can phrase like a good one, wind it down as slowly as you like. And not one in a hundred can do that. Sometimes I even think you know what the words mean. So? So use it. Work at it. What do you think I've been doing for the last seven months? Ah, pleasing the panthers, jigging around in thigh boots to make the yobbo's eyeballs pop. That's the scene. It's only one of many. It sells tickets at the door. Mm, so would women wrestlers. Did you listen to those records I lent you? One or two. Which ones? The Billie Holiday one. Uh, oh, yes, and the Nita Day. What did you think? They were all right for those times. They'll be selling when these times are gone and forgotten. The good ones always will. Well, the good ones aren't always good either. I mean, some days are better than others. Perhaps the weather's right, or the girls in love will just fall out of it. But on that day, she just has to open her mouth and out it floats. You sang well once in seven months, Scotty. What? In the first week, third or fourth night, hideaway. Remember? <sighs> Jerky old ballad. Now, you made it beautiful, Scotty. Now, I'm a kind of expert. <sighs> Get away. All right, an enthusiast. Christ, what does it need to convince you? I wonder where Dave is. And the shampoo, I expect. You don't dig him, do you? Well, I'm not a 15-year-old schoolgirl. Neither am I, and I think he's great. He says he can get me bookings in the North. Club work? Oh, I don't know. You wouldn't be ready for it anyway. I thought you were a friend of mine, Wally. Friends don't have to tell you the nice, comfortable things you'd like to hear. Uh, you lap up flattery like a drug. A quick boost. 
a sudden lift off the ground. Who cares then for what's true? The way you carry on sometimes fills me with disappointment. Oh, let's call it by its right name, Green Eye. You're all burned up because I fancy Dave. Oh, is that right? Wally, have you ever seen yourself guzzling? Why'd you do it? Easing an ache. Lamenting the waste of a talent. Oh, how would you know? How would you? I mean, you only just get by on that keyboard. Well, I don't like the temper. There isn't much you do like. Except that glass with something in it. That's just window dressing, Scotty. I mean, the stories about my drinking are lies put around by Alcoholics Anonymous. I used to think you were pretty good. Bless you. No, I did. Till I saw that hair shirt you wear. <laughs> away from you, I remember things you say. Little bits of advice like, oh, how to stand and counting the beats. But when I'm with you, I keep thinking what a self-pitying bastard you are. <laughs> Now what? <laughs> I'll get a rubber face mask. You won't have to look at me then. You forget. After today, I don't see you anyway. All right. What are you doing? Um, in the corner seat. You want a drink? Oh, uh, not unless you're buying. Sure. Your destiny's arrived. Just in time, too. Hello, people. Hello. Whoa. Draw up a broomstick and sit down. Ooh, cheeky. Uh, did you get the ticket, Scotty? In my bag. Coach goes in 15 minutes. Ah, what could thee and I find to do in a quarter of an hour, eh? <laughs> <laughs> Your place or mine? Well, that's not a bad offer. <laughs> Terrific girl, eh, Walt? She'll do. Here. That's what I owe you, Dave. Ooh, gimme, gimme, gimme. Ah, uh, don't think I don't trust you all. I don't. <laughs> oh, all right. Where's the rest of it? Your landlady's got it. What for? She had the funny idea you were about to leave without paying her. Your receipt. Take a walk, Scotty. What for? I want to use some bad language on this bastard. Oh, look, he's right, Dave. Shove off. Uh, please, darling. <laughs> Bless you. Lovely manners, I don't think. You take a lot on yourself, Wally. Well, I'm the leader of this techie outfit, aren't I? Y you were. The group was dissolved at one o'clock this morning. And what's that for? The 12 quid, Natch. Speak to my accountant. Oh, I'll get it, one way or another. You wouldn't hit a defenceless old coward, would you, Dave? Who do you think you are going around paying my bills? Who are you to go around conning old women? Some other musician might want to use those digs one day. What kind of a reception is he likely to get? I should worry. That's right. I did the worrying for you. Ha, 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 ha. I'm glad ha. to see you take it so well. well. Where do you think you're going? To the lavatory. I'd like to come with me. I haven't finished with you yet, Wally. Oh, I'm on tiptoes with excitement. Yeah. A large Scotch, Hilda. Give my friends what they want. My 12 quid, you tea leaf. Ha! Is it safe to come back now? No, it isn't. Oh, hell, Scotty, I was relying on that bread. I've got plenty. But that's not the point, is it? That old bag's been overcharging. I just thought I'd get some of it back. Why didn't you move somewhere else? Because I didn't feel like it. You two want a drink? Oh, no, not for me. Make mine a big vodka. Go on, he said we could have whatever we wanted. What's the matter, Dave? Oh, nothing. I hate being took, especially by him. Thought I was going to draw one off, too. Would you? Well, he's earned it. I've stood sarcasm and needle ever since the spring. So I'm not Gene Krupa. He knew that when he took me on. And he's not the world's best on that bloody organ, neither. Oh, don't be violent, Dave. I can't stand ah, it. These guys are made 30 think they know the old bit. These are ready when you want them. Yeah, well, uh, trot along for the bevy doll, will you? Mm. OK, Dave. Which is which? That's Wally's. The other one belongs to your tired friend. Don't you start on me, Hilda. I'm sorry, dear. I wouldn't want to spoil your last day. That's already taken care of. Come on, Scotty. We're going to move in a minute. Swing you. Well, how much do I owe you, Hilda? Well, you gave me a quid, dear. Yeah, will so that, that cover it? Uh, yes, more than. Yeah. Beat the bits and pieces. Ta, I will. Good hell. Same to you. That's what I like to see. Short drinks and long faces. Best of luck, you two. Yeah. <clears throat> I ought to pour it all over you. I'll wait till bath time, would you? Scotty tells me you've lined up some dates for her. I'm thinking about it. Oh, that's good. What's your scene now? The labour? <laughs> mm, no such luck. I've got a job managing three laundrettes. Oh, can you play one of those things? 
Hum it and I'll pick it up. <laughs> well, as a musician, you'd make a bloody good laundryman. It takes one to know one. One day you run out of smart answers, Wall. Like today, I'm thinking. Oh, please, 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 nothing. If you don't dig the scene split, <gasps> go anyway. Just make up your mind whose side you're on. Dave, we can be friendly for these last few minutes. He's not my friend. He just did me out of a 12. God, I've got better enemies than this one. Well, why don't you say something? I was waiting for you to finish. <laughs> oh, sorry. <laughs> oh, I'm right outside. Yeah, you do that. I got a cure for her giggles. Like another? You trying to get me tight? <laughs> it's me I want to anaesthetise. Hilda, two similars, please, love. Right, I'll give you fresh glasses. What is your habit costing you? Oh, only money. Care to talk about Scotty, Dave? I don't discuss my birds with you. She's talented, you know. What? She's ridiculous. With the material she sings now, but there's quality there if you know how to produce it. Oh, who cares? Two more years as a roadie and she's through. If she spent those two years with a coach and good session men, she could go on until she's 50. 50? <laughs> The whole infrastructure goes flashbang wallop any day now. Well, let's suppose it doesn't. You suppose. I don't want to talk about it anymore. I just want to grab my bag and get hustling. Well, hustle around that then. What is it? That is a general services contract. Ever heard of one? No. Hey, it's got Scotty's name on it. And yours. And if you turn over the page, you'll find yours too. What's it mean? When Scotty signs this, I have 20% of everything she earns, forever. And you get half of the 20. Ah, you're snowing me. Who are you? Now, I've got contacts in the music business you've never heard of, Dave. What of it? Sorry I was so long. Oh, thanks, Alf. That's all right, Molly. Pay me when you're through. OK. Y you really think Scotty's that good? Good enough for me to back with my own money. And she'll stay up there? For as long as she wants. I'd make sure she wants. Well, 10%. What do I have to do? This minute? Yeah. Tell Scotty you'll have to go to Manchester by yourself. Oh, she'd have my eyes for Catholics. Well, then just go. But sign this paper first. Unless you'd rather turn down a fortune. Oh, she's a good kid, Wally. I'll, I'll miss her. Ah, but not for long. Hey, Dave? Well, you know how it is. Got a pen? Right here. Right. They sign both copies. You're the part of the third part. That is your full name? Yeah. Does that do? Yeah. Perfect. You now own 10% of a star. Well. What do you know? I'm in the establishment. <laughs> and, uh, soon we're going to be up to our ears in loot. Uh, how about my 12, huh? 10. I'll take it. Oh. You know, you're not a bad guy, Wally. I sussed you for a punter. Or even punters win occasionally. Cheers. Why not? Oh, you better put your skates on, Dave. Yeah. Hey, uh, how am I going to get out of here without Scotty seeing me? You're through the toilet. There's a door leading to the Penny Arcade. Once through there, you're off the pier. <coughs> <coughs> ah, how are we going to get in touch? Oh, uh, here. Yeah. This card belongs to a musical publisher I know. Phone him and he'll tell you where I am. Right. This is it. Blast it off. Well, take care. Don't spend it all at once. I'll have a bloody good try. See ya. You going? Cheerio for now. Yeah. You look after our Wally. He's a prince. <laughs> well, what's my owing, Zilda? 88, please, dear. Right, there you are. Top. He was off in a hurry. Yeah, his coach is training at the leash, I hope. Oh. Where's Dave? It's Isn't he with you? No, it's only five minutes to go. Where is he? Well, I have bad news for you, Scotty. He's not gone without me. Well, let me tell you about it, Scotty. No, where is he? Let go of my arm. Hey, what's all the noise? Uh, it's all right, Hilda. 
Hey, Scotty, you can't follow him. Not yet. He's gone ahead to make everything ready for you. I don't believe you. Why couldn't you say so to my face? Well, to save you any disappointment. Dave? He's never happier than when he's hurting somebody. Will you calm down? No! Oh, Wally, what's he playing look, at? I'll tell you when you're sitting down. And look, you've missed that, coach. The next won't go for a couple of hours, so spend some of it talking quietly with me, eh? Oh... Five minutes. Good. Comfortable? So tell me what all this is about. Well, Dave left you alone with me on purpose so that you'd have time to sign our contract. What contract? Well, the one I had drawn up for the three of us. A general services contract for your future earnings. But I haven't signed to anything yet. And that's why Dave gave us the breathing space. Here. I'd like to read what it's all about. Dave signed this? Well, that's his name. Twice. What happens to Manchester? Well, Dave took the long-term view, I suppose. I was rather surprised at the way he jumped at it. I mean, he hates all this money and property only set up, he says. You snake, Wally. You did this on purpose. Of course I did. General service contracts like this aren't worth the paper they're written on. Dave didn't know that. And I'd hate to be around when he finds out. But, I mean, let's not waste time talking about him. I want to talk about you. Now, you know I think you've got talent. Oh, Wally. And what's got... more, you enjoy your work. I mean, you'd rather sing than eat. Am I right? So what? So make it work for you. Well, you'll have to go right back to the beginning. Scales? Breathing exercises and music lessons until you curse those beautiful tonsils God gave you. I'll run you ragged and you'll curse me too. But at the end, we might have one of the best torturers who stepped onto the British stage. Mm. Let's say I was interested. What happens now? Well, you stay with my sister in Tottenham. What? It's all right. She'll be glad to have you. In the morning, we see a voice coach and a record manager who owes me a favour. Oh, quick work, sailor. <laughs> Not so bad, is it? Mind you, I've had several months to prepare this. <laughs> oh, Wally. <laughs> you know what this business needs? What, bigger amplifiers? <laughs> Heart. Not something for nothing. The lights banging once in the night sky, then a big black emptiness. It wants emotions. Real ones, for real people. It needs a pretty girl singing her pain on an empty stage. And this business needs artists, and God knows they're overdue. You couldn't do it on your own, Scotty. There'd be too many pulling at you from different directions. All except me. I'd keep on shoving you along the hardest road of all. And I'd look after you, too. Can I have the empties, Wally? Oh, help yourself, love. It's gone deathly quiet in here. You want another? Oh, no, thanks. It's bad for me hands. <laughs> I think your five minutes are up, Scotty. What time does the train leave for London? Well, there's one every half hour. Can we get a bite to eat on it? Of course. OK, I'll go. <laughs> well, what made up your mind for you? You weren't scared of Dave. Wasn't I? He couldn't put you down. It was sort of <laughs> unexpected. Well, the world's full of surprises, Scotty. What if I'd said no? I never thought of that. <laughs> Fit? Yeah. You going then, Wally? We both are up. Aye. Aye, spring is early this year. Take care. See you next season, then. <laughs> Do I can help it? Bye. Bye. Have fun. I must be out of my mind. So? I like it. <laughs> <laughs>